Greetings to you in the wonderful and precious name of our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ. As a servant of the Lord Jesus Christ, I and my family, church, and our community express our deepest concern and prayer for the people of Manipur. Our heart is overwhelmed by the horrific tragedies that have affected the people of all communities living in Manipur. We will continue to pray for your family and for your church and your people that the mighty hand and move of God across the land will take place and the sun of righteousness will rise again in this land with healing in his wings. The wound inflicted in the souls of men in these regions have gone so deep that without the intervening work and deep work of the Holy Spirit, it will now be very, very difficult to heal the wounds that have been inflicted and it will pass down to generations. We pray to the Lord God Almighty that it is through the power of the Holy Spirit only that He will bring about a healing and restoration in the hearts and minds and lives of people living in Manipur. Without the redeeming work of the Holy Spirit, these wounds will last and will be passed down to generations. I believe that only the Lord Jesus Christ can heal such wounds that affects generations. We will pray that he will once again work and heal his people and this land of Manipur. Having said that, this is the word of the Lord that came to me for the entire region of Northeast India, not just Manipur, but states like Nagaland, Mizoram, Meghalaya, Assam, Tripura, and the entire Northeast region. So I humbly and in submission to the Holy Spirit, speak this word of the Lord for this region. The Bible says, when wickedness rise, people of the land live in terror. I see a horde of evil spirits invading and spreading not just in Manipur but across the regions of Meghalaya, Mizoram, Assam, Nagaland and all these regions of Northeast India. Many of these states are bastions of Christianity in India. The Lord says, because the people of these lands have let down their gods. Because the churches, instead of praying and fasting, have become lukewarm and are living weak, prayerless lives. Because the Christians, instead of reflecting Jesus Christ in their lives, have been living in compromise with the present evil world system. Because the churches have valued human traditions above the word and authority of the word of God. This is what the Lord says, Return to me all you people, and I shall return to you. Return to me all you people, and I shall return to you. Seek me so that you will find me. Your lack of love, concern and care for those who are suffering and in pain have been hurting the heart of the Lord Jesus Christ. You have turned your hearts away from the people whom the Lord wants you to help and heal. The Lord says, so mercy, so grace, so love. Do not think that these wicked spirits, these demonic forces, these dark satanic forces will spare your land because you live in a safer place. These wicked spirits will go beyond territorial, physical and geographical borders and invade your land. This is what the Lord showed me, that these evil spirits will not just be concentrated in Manipur, but they will spread across the northeast of India, the entire region. That's what the Lord showed me. 
This is the counsel from the Lord. They will invade your land unless the Christians rise up and pray. Resist the devil and he shall flee from you. Do not be yoked together with the world system. Political affiliations and allegiance of many leaders of the land have become an abomination before the Lord. Many of them have become agents of wicked and dark evil satanic forces. Now the Lord is searching for watchmen over this land. Rise up and pray, says the Lord. Repent and turn to the Lord. I am looking for a man to stand in the gap and intercede for this land. Resist the evil in all forms and stand for righteousness and justice, says the Lord. Our battle is not against flesh and blood, but against principalities, against authorities and powers of darkness. It is against the prince of the air. Rise up in prayer and build walls of protection all over your land. Build strongholds of love, justice. Build a strong tower of faith and prayer and return to the Lord. Rise up as mighty men and women of God in prayer and faith and drive away the evil forces that have invaded the land, says the Lord. Do not live the spiritual borders of the land vacant without God, but rise up, take God. You are the watchmen, says the Lord. The church of the Lord Jesus Christ will overcome this evil. The church of the Lord Jesus Christ will win the battle against the enemy. The church of the Lord Jesus Christ will stand against the evil forces that have risen across this land. They will stand and they will not be divided. They will fight and they will set aside their differences across denominations, across churches, across believers, so that the Son of Righteousness will shine again over this land. I pray that the Lord will begin a mighty move. I pray that the Holy Spirit will walk again and move again in this land and heal the wounds that have cut down deep into generations. I pray that the churches will be united, not just in letters, but in the Spirit. Joel 2, 12, 13 says, Yet even now declares the Lord, Return to me with all your heart, with fasting, with weeping, and with mourning. And rend your hearts and not your garments, says the Lord. Return to the Lord your God, for he is gracious and merciful, slow to anger and abounding in steadfast love, and he relents over disaster. Blow the trumpet in Zion, says the Lord. Consecrate a fast. Call a solemn assembly. Gather the people. Consecrate the congregation. Assemble the elders. Gather the children, even nursing infants. Let the bridegroom leave his room and the bride her chamber. Between the vestibule and the altar, let the priest the ministers of the Lord weep and say, Spare your people, O Lord. Spare this land, O Lord. Spare Manipur, O Lord. Spare Nagaland. Spare the entire Northeast India, Lord. And make not your heritage a reproach, a byword among the nations. Why should they say among the people, Where is their God? Where is your God? Where is your God? Where is your God? People of Northeast India, the Lord wants you to take a stand. Go to your knees and then you will rise. Go to your knees and then the Lord will lift you up. Go to your knees and you will start building up strong walls of protection across your land. 
and this wall will protect not only you, but it will protect your church, your community, your children, and for generations. You will be a blessing. Will the Lord find people who will pray for this land? Shall we pray?